if you are planning to put up an import business here in the Philippines, here are the list of accreditation requirements. I've been an importer for over 10 years. The first one is duly notarized accomplished application form signed by the owner for sole proprietorship, responsible officer for a corporation, chairman for cooperative, and authorized partner for partnership. The Bureau of Customs official receipt showing your payment of processing fee, which is 1,000 pesos. I'm going to create a separate video teaching you on how to pay online. Corporate secretary certificate for a corporation, affidavit for sole, partnership resolution for partnership, BOD resolution for cooperative, designating its authorized signatories in the import entries. The next one is the two valid government issued IDs with a picture of applicant, president, and responsible officers. Example, passport, UMID card, SSID, driver's license, alien certificate of registration, and alien employment permit for alien. Next one is NBI clearance of applicant issued within three months prior to the application. The next is photocopy of DTI registration or SEC registration articles of partnership and latest GIS or general information sheet or co cooperative development authority registration and latest cooperative annual progress report, whichever is applicable. The next one is the personal profile of the applicants, president and responsible officers. And the next one is proof of lawful occupancy of the office address and warehouse. Example, updated list of contract under the name of the corporation, proprietor, affidavit of consent from the owner, and the title of the property under his or her name in case of the property is used for free or certification from the lesser or owner, allowing the sharing of office in case of sublease. The next requirement is a printed CPRS of the company and update notification of stored status. For this one, I'm going to create a separate video. I'll teach you how to apply for the CPRS. The next is the BIR registration, which is 2303, then income tax return or ITR for the past three years, duly received by the BIR, and then valid mayor's permit certified by the Bureau of Permits and Licensing Office. And the next one is the proof of financial capacity to import goods such as bank certificate or other forms of financial certification. Top 1,000 taxpayers are exempted. Detailed sketch of the office or the warehouse address. Company profile with geotag pictures of office with proper and permanent signage and pictures of warehouse storage area. Then also for this one, I'm going to show in a, show in a separate video the examples. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.